Hey folks, welcome to the channel and this new video. Before we dive in, I'd like to ask you to subscribe if you're new here. And if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button and maybe leave a comment. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really helps the channel. Thanks in advance. Now, let's get to the heart of the video. SCS Software just published a new blog post about churches and shrines in Greece, part of the latest map DLC they're working on for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Let's dive in and see what SCS Software has to share with us. We are happy to share another piece of the puzzle from the upcoming Greece map expansion for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today, we would like to show you some beautiful churches and shrines that are an inseparable part of the country's ancient history. I believe this church is modeled after the St. Spiridon Church in Corfu, which was built in the 1580s. It's known for housing the relics of St. Spiridon. Now, let's get back to the blog. Our teams did an excellent job modeling these amazing architectural gems for the Greece DLC, while taking inspiration from real-world locations like the Pantocrator Cathedral in Lixori, the Church of Panagia, and the Church of St. Dionysius in Argostolion. Not only are the churches an incredible part of the country's architecture, but they also have a long tradition and is actively in use, as almost the entire Greek population is religious. This church gave me quite a headache. I found a few contradictory sources online. According to some images I found on Wikimapia.org, it's called the Church of St. Tryphon and is located in Lamia, Greece. They even provided coordinates, which allowed me to pinpoint the church on Google Maps. There, it's listed as a Greek Orthodox church named the Holy Church of Agios Trifonos. However, when I search for that exact name on Google, I can't find any images matching this building. And when I click on Did You Mean Holy Church of Agios Trifonos, I end up even further from what I'm trying to find. I think it's fair to say that this is the Orthodox Church called Holy Church of Agios Trifonos, and here are some images. Now, let's get back to the blog. I'm not going to do stupid about this one. I couldn't find which church this is. If you know, then let me know in the comments. This is another one I had a hard time with. This is the only image I could come up with. Surely let me know in the comments if you have more information about this church or chapel. A name, coordinates, all is good. This one I was able to find, it's called Agia Irini Mitalini, a small chapel at the corner of the road in the Mitalini Park. The Church of Panagia Sisiotisa, found near the end of Debosset Bridge, is a Byzantine-designed church and a staple of Argostoli. It is said to have been established in 1204 by St. Francis of Assisi, a castaway on the island of Kefalonia during his trip to Egypt. The original church was demolished in 1860 in order to be rebuilt as a more grand establishment to fit the needs of the town. The newly formed basilica with a dome lasted until the devastating earthquake of 1953 when Panagia Sisiotisa subsequently dilapidated. Afterward, the third installment of this church was built in 1957. Nowadays, this five-arch building showcases beautiful interior decorations, red roof tiles, and a stunning bell tower. In addition, Panagia Sisiotisa Church houses an icon of Panagia Portatisa made by Andreas Focus, Cosmetados, back in 1826. Now, let's get back to the blog. Apart from churches, there will also be plenty of shrines that can be found scattered along the roads across all of Greece. These little boxes, sometimes designed as a miniature chapel or church, usually have a burning lamp inside them, as well as images of saints and some flowers. These shrines have multiple purposes, such as to commemorate victims of road accidents or invite passers-bys for a prayer. This is the Church of Pantocrator, which you can find in Kefalonia. I couldn't find a lot about the building itself, but maybe I can shed some light on the name Pantocrator. The most common translation of Pantocrator is Almighty, or All-Powerful. In this understanding, Pantocrator is a compound word formed from the Greek words pas, which is all, and kratos, which is strength, might, power. This is often understood in terms of potential power, as in the ability to do anything, omnipotence. 
Christ Pantocrator signifies Jesus in his glory during his second coming, seated on his throne. This is the church of St. Nicholas of Miniets in Lixori, Greece. The church is on Miniaton Square, named for priest and bishop Elias Monastis. His writings were published after his death and remained in print until 1900. His statue is on the square. So far, I haven't been able to find any information about this chapel. These are known as candelakia, or ikonostasia in Greece, which are small roadside structures, often made of wood, concrete, or stone. Often modeled after the shape of a church, they look like miniature churches or shrines. Throughout Greece, these can be found most commonly as roadside tributes to those who have passed away, often in car accidents, or in honor of a promise made, or as a gesture of gratefulness to a saint or a patron saint. Sometimes, if you open the door, you will find oil and matches already there, waiting for someone to light the candle inside. Most of them have icons inside, and sometimes there are artifacts or mementos placed in or near the iconostasy in memory of the person who has passed on. However, they are not always representative of lives lost. In fact, if someone survives a particularly dangerous car accident, he or she may return to the scene of the accident and erect a kandalaki in honor of his or her patron saint as a token of thanks. You will see old ones that have clearly been around for a long time, as well as modern ones that appear to be more intricately designed. I want to disclose that all the in-game screenshots shown are from a project still very much in progress. This means nothing is set in stone and everything is subject to change. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this new type of video. There will be many more to come. The idea of creating videos where I search for the real-life counterparts of in-game objects has been on my mind for a long time, but I never got around to it until now. Make sure that you add the Grease DLC to your Steam wishlist. I'll put the link in the description. This time, I did it for a DLC that hasn't been released yet, but I'll also make similar videos for the existing DLCs. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Before you go, could I kindly ask you to hit the like button and react to this video. It's the best way to give the video some recognition and it would really help me and the channel a lot. Thank you.